All right, I want to turn now to our next guest, Mac McKenzie. He's with Critical Defense Group joining us now. Mac, you uh, positive about the future in 2017 when it comes to guns? Yes, yeah, so I'm always positive about the future, so absolutely. Well, and you live in Texas, which is uh, a little easier to be a gun lover here than states like California. Oh, absolutely. I was born and raised in Southern California. The, the best thing I ever did was move to free America, Texas. Hey, one of the things I wanted to ask you about uh, was when it comes to safety. Uh, you say there are three critical components of, of being safe when it comes to using uh, your firearm. Why don't you run me through them? Absolutely, man. We're, we're huge advocates of firearm safety. I, I think that's one of the most important things that people need to understand. And uh, we keep it very simple. There, there are people that spend a lot of time writing articles, blogs, and books, and I applaud them for taking that time. The problem is when it's that much material, it's really hard for the student to retain all that and practice it on a daily basis. So what we do is we simplify it, and we simplify it to three very simple fundamentals. Number one, muzzle discipline. What does that mean? Are you pointing that weapon in a safe direction? Number two, your finger is straight and off the trigger. We do not allow our students to put their finger on the trigger till that sight is on target and they have justification to shoot. And number three, if your handgun is not grown up to be a Glock yet and you have a mechanical safety or a decocker imperative that you manipulate that mechanical safety or that decocker anytime you're reholstering, conducting certain reloads, or working in a crowded environment. So, Mac, this is the big debate for those who carry concealed uh, and, I guess, open carry in states like Texas now and other states across the country. Uh, do you leave that safety on, that thumb safety on, if you're carrying in public? Absolutely. We are huge advocates of that. And if you have a weapon system that has a mechanical decocker, a mechanical safety, you have to train. You have to train manipulating that safety anytime you're going to go ahead and discharge that weapon. And uh, those people that are carrying their weapons off safety, that, that's a huge risk. They know their tactical capabilities, but again, we are huge advocates of manipulating that safety properly. And so now a Glock that doesn't have a mechanical safety, uh, what do you tell people with those? Uh, you just keep your fingers straight. But I do want to make something very clear. The Glock actually has three safeties. It has one external trigger safety and two internal safeties. And when they created that weapon, they created it with simplicity in mind. So the key thing is remember to keep your fingers straight. That's very, very important. And not to put that finger on that trigger until your sights are on target and you have justification to shoot. All right. Mac McKenzie, as always, it's a pleasure talking to you. Happy New Year to you. And thanks for the tips. Likewise, thank you so much. Have a great week. All right, you got it. Hey, I'm Grant Stinchfield for NRA TV. Thanks so much for watching. You're watching NRA TV with Grant Stinchfield.